Hey folks, Sylvius back. Uh, I'm gonna let the actual Sylvius kind of sit and cool off for a little while. That uh, internet connectivity kill death last night was uh, was disheartening to say the least. Um, so I'm gonna focus on my night for a little while. I really wanted to just hit level 90 on my Paladin so I could pull out the Crystalline Arrows and pull out the Warsinger Bow. It would be like a whole new level of just like all of a sudden being massively more powerful. <laughs> uh, it kills me a little inside. Anyway. Uh, so I re-picked up the Ancient Scarab task on uh, my knight here after I killed Fleshcrawler. So we're going to Lion's Rock, which is northwest of Darashia. You can see here. Uh, you have to do like a mini quest thing to get into this place in the first place, involving like getting some items from up like these stairs and things I sort of don't remember. Um, and you also need to use a cobra tongue, so you either buy that off the market or you uh, loot one from a cobra. Uh, incidentally, I had a cobra tongue, so I went to sell it, and when I checked the market for like to get a baseline to see what I should price mine as, I saw that there was like four uh, Cobra Tongues on the market. This is a Mara, by the way. There was four Cobra Tongues already on the market, and the cheapest one was 40,000 gold. Which, like, I'm pretty confident is a joke. <laughs> so I just put mine... They were red offers, so I'm, I'm pretty confident they were jokes. So yeah, I put mine down at a, obviously a lower price. Um... So yeah, we're going to Lion's Rock. Uh, one sec. I'm gonna... Hopefully, I don't know. Anyway, we're heading to Lion's Rock. I don't know if... I, I just turned my microphone settings down a little bit because I was... When I watched my last recording, it seemed like it was a little loud. So I don't know. Anyway. Lion's Rock is a... Ooh, Cobra Tongue. Maybe I can get another 40,000 for it. Woo! Cobra Tongue... Uh, yeah, Cobra Tongues. <laughs> Lion's Rock has Scarabs, Roaring Lions, also Noble Lions, which are a mountable creature. A random assortment of things up here. We've got, like, Demon Skeletons, Bone Beasts, Teramites, Larva, like, random assortment of stuff on this top level here. Uh, unfortunately, Lion's Rock is pretty popular, so there's a decent chance that it's going to be occupied, which would disappoint me somewhat. Uh also kind of frequently bought it. Um, okay, does not look occupied. So the first thing about Lion's Rock is it's very kind of like tight quarters, uh, which makes it pretty poor for probably Paladins would be my my guess. Um, hey, Scarab Shield. Good profit so far. Mages will probably do fine, because they can kind of round them all up with, uh, like, area effect runes. But I think Paladins would have a hard time, because there's not a lot of running space here. To be fair, though, I've never tried hunting here on a Paladin. And even if I came here on Sylvius, it would be, uh, Sylvius is probably too high of a level for this place. So it wouldn't be a very good, uh, example of what this place is like. Um, as an option for here, you could consider bringing in anything that reduces poison damage, because you'll see you take a lot of poison damage here. Um, there are two sections here. You can either go left here or go down. Um, both of them just lead to more Ancient Scarabs at this early venue, and then eventually lead to different spots where you can get uh, the Roaring Lions. While I'm technically here for the uh, Ancient Scarabs, because they're my task monster, uh, the Roaring Lions, I think, are the superior, like, hunting monster. They don't deal nearly as much damage as the uh, Scarabs. And the Scarabs have the negative of the heavy poison that they pop out. Heavy poison, as you see there. Um... I think the, just in general, the Lions don't deal as much damage. I think they're also better EXP. Um, and I think they're also more profitable. 
So, just in general, I think the lions are the superior monster to be hunting. Alright. I'm not doing so bad on potions so far. I'm just gonna... Yeah, it's kind of better for me to be fighting them one-on-one. -on -one for various obvious reasons. Ugh. You know, I came here when I was like a much higher level and I was like, you know, this place doesn't seem great for me. I feel like I'm taking too much damage. I think I should like consider coming back when I'm a higher level. And that was like when I was level 45 and then I came back when I was level 50 and now I'm back at level 65 and I'm still like, I think this place is too high of a level for me. Well, that one was profitable. Decent amount of gold, three amethysts, three emeralds. Not bad. Alright, Utura. Let's get some heals. Uh, Amera is where I'm playing right now, and it's a PvP optional world, so it just makes me a little nervous to be at low HP at any given point, just because I'm thinking to myself, any second now, somebody's going to come through and pop me. <laughs> Not because they want to kill me, but just because they're going to see me at low HP and be like, well, I can probably knock him out in one hot hit. And then they'll try. So it always makes me a little nervous to be at low HP. I feel like I'm taking way more damage than I do normally. Ha da 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 da. That's a minor annoyance of fighting these kind of things. It takes up an awful lot of, like, my concentration to make sure I'm not dying. So it makes it hard for me to just kind of, like, ramble speech that I, know I do. That I think is what makes the Let's Play videos such, like, an in interesting concept in the first place. Yeah, but, you know, what can you do? I suppose I could just stop paying attention and die, but... That doesn't sound like it's, it's in my best interest, so I'm not gonna do that. Miss. Ugh. Barely hitting him for anything. There we go. So you can kind of see on my map here, uh, like what the... Uh, it was a bad time to cast Antidote. Let me go. Let me just wait for... Ah. <laughs> I figured since I just cast an Antidote, I would go a little while before I immediately got poisoned again, but nope. He really wanted to be my friend. So you can kind of see here, uh, these two spots right here do not connect to each other. You can kind of see it like this, I think. Yeah, they don't connect. There's like three or four scarabs up there. Uh, there is a, like, quest of sorts in this area. Uh, and you have to, like, walk around and use a whole bunch of items. I don't remember the order in which any of those things have to be used, so I'm not capable of, like, showcasing the quest right now. Hmm. I don't really want to be surrounded by uh, larva. There we go. I love looting bodies. It's like one of my favorite things. So I will frequently like stop paying attention to the actual fight so that I can loot something that I've already killed. Eventually I will loop through this whole area. Anyway. Bam. I don't have enough mana. That's why I couldn't do it. Come on. 
Oh, come on. Alright. So yeah, eventually I'll loop through this whole area. The, uh, the quest room, if you will, is in that area right there. Um, I think this is around, like, the last, uh, Ancient Scarab that I'll fight before I switch over to the lions. Um, there are no n noble lions on this floor. The noble lions are down one floor. Um, they're not good hunting. They don't drop anything all that valuable, and they're kind of annoying. So, I suggest you don't, av you avoid them unless you're trying to get them out. Um, assuming you can fight Ancient Scarabs and the Lions, this is one of the easier mounts to get, although it can definitely take you some time, and I'll showcase why it can take you some time here in a minute, once I get to it, although I'm not actually ready to get to it. Um... There we go. Alright, I think I'm in Roaring Lion territory now. Yeah, I'm in Roaring Lion territory. I can be uh, all antidoted and not taking massive poison damage left and right. Woo! Yeah. So these guys deal less damage than the Scarabs. Don't poison you. Uh, and as far as I know, they don't have any unblockable attacks. So in theory, if your shielding is super, 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 super high, you're golden. Also, I kind of think their defense is lower. Um, Lion's Mane, Sal and Venor, I think for 600, or yeah, six, 60 GP. So, I mean, they're definitely worth picking up. Also, Yasir buys them, because he buys everything. Yasir's the man! So, yeah, even with two of them on me, I'm barely taking any additional damage. I missed. Utura time. Should be a couple more in here. Yep. Oop. Alright. Kind of didn't want that many on me. Because now they're going to start hurting me. Um, Anks, I forget how much they sell to or how much they sell for. They are purchased by one of the Jin. I forget which one off the top of my head. I think the green one. Whoops, I did not mean to hit that button. <laughs> that was control click, and I meant to hit alt click. Alt click being a uh, attack. Also, as a pro to the lions, they drop food. Ooh, an emerald bangle. That's a 800 GP item. I think Rashid buys them. Uh, one of the things of note here is you want to make sure you're not exhausting your healing supplies before you go to leave. Because uh, a lot of things will spawn behind you. I've made that mistake a couple of times. There's also a part where when you're going back up, back into the main area, you'll pop out of a staircase with like four ancient scarabs on you, which can be a little bit sketchier than I would like. Uh, here you see that the lions drop platinum coins every now and then too, which make them even more awesome for hunting. So far, though, I have not been able to showcase the, like, truly awesome part of the Roaring Lions. And this was not what I meant to do. That was a bad moment. <laughs> I will shoot down the staircase. Uh, the the noble lions are like overall, I believe, a little bit weaker than the the roarings here. It's just that they they're like crappy. They do a, a bleed attack. They don't drop anywhere near as much money. I think their bleed attack might be like an unblockable thing too, which makes them even more annoying. Uh, and they drop, so, like, he gave me 56 gold, which is relatively low for a, a Roaring Lion, and also I got 1,200 EXP. This guy's going to give me bleed damage for one. Uh, 
Yeah, 611 gold and a lion's mane. <laughs> so I'm just going to go back up and not deal with that other noble lion. Bleed damage is not really cool, nor is it ideal. Another roaring lion. We'll bleed him. Ooh, another roaring lion. Bam. I don't have enough mana. Alright, yeah, I'm not sure I'm getting really bad luck here, but uh, usually <laughs> the Roaring Lions drop huge amounts of, uh, like, gems. Topazes, Amethyst, Rubies, Sapphires, they drop all of them. So the fact that I'm getting, like, really poor luck here is kind of surprising. They don't drop, uh, you know, like that Scarab I killed earlier that dropped, I think, what was it, like, six or seven gems all at once. The lions don't drop that many, but they usually consistently drop some. Usually you'll get a gem every, like, one or two lions, so I'm not sure what exactly is happening right here. Another ank. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. This is really weird. Can utter it up again. Utter a. Uh. <sighs> Once I hit a uh, seventy-five on this character, I can pull up my adventure, which I'm super excited about. It is a really high attack weapon that has higher defense than my mastermind shield. Downside is it's not based off of my shielding, uh, and I can only block one enemy at a time with a two-handed weapon. According to what I found online, which may most certainly be wrong, because a lot of Tibia's, like, inner workings have never been released. There we go, small topaz. Finally got some gems. So, once I get my Avenger against single, like, one enemies, I'll be doing amazing. It'll be the greatest day of my life. Sort of. My very, very sad life. I'm I'm still like sh I'm still uh, bleeded, which is cool. Bleed apparently is physical damage, and my physical resistance from my Zoan helmet and my uh, Zoan legs are apparently making the bleed damage reduce to zero, which is kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. See, like, every time you walk into one of these places that have the quest things, even if you've already done the quest, it'll trigger that, like, server message up in your face, which is kind of annoying, because it's sort of in the way, and, like, right now I can't see how much HP that guy had. Bam. Nobody else back there. Bam. Yeah, I know I said, like, Roaring Lions were supposed to be really profitable, and I swear, they're supposed to be really profitable. I don't know what's going wrong right now. Well, this is not an ideal situation. Oh boy. Level up! I enjoy uh, taking screenshots of my levels, so I do that. So I'm going to pause here real quick so that I can get my, <laughs> my screenshot done. So one sec here. Alright. Screenshot taken. My level 66 screenshot. Woo! I also had to save because I had already had a screenshot up for... Uh, I hit sword fighting... 
um, 80 earlier today. Technically, I hit Sword Fighting 80 when I uh, logged in and got off the, the auto trainer, so I don't think it really counts as an achievement, but it's an achievement for me. I really don't enjoy Ancient Scarabs, I have to say. The funny thing is, is that if I'd gone the other way, I would have gotten uh, better on the... whatchamacallits? The, uh, the lions. I think... I'm pretty sure there's more lions in the other direction, but the quest for the lion thing is over here, so I figured I would go this way to show off the quest. And now I'm not getting the quest! Got them both there, which is kind of cool, though. Alright, I think I'm out of Ancient Scarabs again, which is grand. I mean, I'm halfway to being able to do the quest right now. To do the quest, you need uh, a small topaz, a small amethyst, a small ruby, and a small sapphire. The rural lions drop all of those. I'm just not having a lot of luck with the drops. Also, I was all, like, stretching my arms right there and forgot that I can use magic attacks to kill them faster. Whoops. They all look nasty when they die. I don't know if anybody else has noticed that. Like, I am brutalizing these lions. Alright, I do not want that many of them on me. Oh boy, I went down low there. <sighs> I'm like lazy when I play. And I only like pushing at the like bare minimum amount of buttons. <laughs> so uh, I will routinely uh like, leave myself at lower amounts of mana just because I don't feel like pushing the hotkey to drink more mana potions. And I'll also not heal myself to full just because I don't like pushing the hotkeys. I know I'll need to once I get into a fight, because, like, I know I'm not going to just wait for food regeneration to make that much of a difference. But I can't... I can't control myself. Okay, small sapphire. I just need a uh, small ruby at this point. Oh, I'm running into... I run into things all the time. <laughs> I'm like an idiot. Utura. I think at level uh, 70 I get better Utura, which I'm kind of looking forward to. Let's see if you can hear me crack my knuckles. I feel like you had to have heard me crack those knuckles. That was incredibly loud. I'm still cracking them, by the way. <sighs> that was just one hand. Other hand. There we go. Apologies to anybody who gets freaked out by people cracking their knuckles. I should probably put a warning in that. That way nobody uh, freaks out when they hear me popping the joints horrifically from my knuckles. Just for the record, a lot of people tell you that causes like arthritis and things like that, but all you're doing is popping air bubbles that are forming between your joints. It doesn't cause any kind of lasting damage. That is, in fact, an old wives' tale. Not all old wives' tales are wrong, but a lot of them are. You know, back in the day, they thought tomatoes were poisonous, and the reason for that was uh, because most people had silverware and, uh, like, plateware made out of lead, because it was an easy-to-work-with metal and, like, not very expensive. Um, and tomatoes are acidic and juicy, so the juice would leach the uh, lead off of the plate. Uh, I didn't really want to get the noble line. Is that a noble line over there? Ah, uh, jeez. I really do not want to fight this stupid pile of crap. 
Oh boy! I went lower than I thought I was going to there. Yeah, the nobles are just pointless. If you're... there's really no reason to go down here unless you're going to try to tame one. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with him. I'm just gonna go back up. Maybe he'll go far enough away... nope. I was gonna say, maybe he'll go far enough away that I can try to sneak down and see if I can lure up another, uh, roaring line. Nope, he's just gonna stay there. Alright, he sucks. I'll go some other direction. On a side note, I mentioned this in my FTL Let's Plays, uh, but I did not mention it here. I'm back to my normal uh, video game computer spot, which is like glorious. And uh, I've got my air conditioning on, which is even more glorious. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. It's on low right now, but uh, when I tested it, it didn't seem to be that easily heard. But I may be going deaf at my old age, so I don't know. Anyway, long story short, I have air conditioning now, and it's wonderful. It is the greatest thing, I think, in the world. <clears throat> and even better, it uh, because I'm not getting, it's like the air that's coming out of it is going through a filter, uh, I'm able to avoid, like, impacting my allergies by, you know, not breathing in fresh air. I like my air to be, like, artificial, recycled, stale, and cold, obviously. I like cold air. Small amethyst. I still need a, um, a ruby, though. At least I'm getting the gems now. The gems are what really makes the, the line so profitable. You know, I have kind of like bad loot luck an awful lot, and I'm feeling, I'm feeling bad loot luck, loot luck right now. Yet yeah, stupid things gonna trigger every time. And now I kind of have no idea what how much HP that one line has. I don't know how close it is to dying. I don't really know what's going on right now. I'm confused and out of my element, and everything sucks at life. Small ruby! Woo! Alright, now I can go back and... Whoops, didn't need to do that. Now I can go back and get the uh, quest item. But first, let's kill the lions over yonder. <coughs> Exori her. Exori eco. Exhort her! I'm actually kind of running low on potions, I think, at this point, too. I gotta start heading back. Yay! Ancient scarabs. Woo! You know, it's cool. I think it's getting, like, a little bit cooler outside right now. And, uh, I'm, I'm actually feeling... I'm, I'm feeling cold almost right now. My, my air conditioner is almost making me feel cold. Like, I, I almost got a chill. I think my hair is sticking up on my arm. I, this is just, like... I'm actually... I'm almost moved to tears by this. 
No, wait, no, that's just me about to sneeze. Hold on. Maybe? Nope. No sneeze. Hold on. Matt? Nope. No sneeze. Still, though, it's glorious. Ah, come on, one more hit. There we go. Scootera! Seriously, this object is too heavy for me to carry? It's gold! How is that too heavy for me to carry? I mean, to be fair, gold is actually a pretty heavy metal, so I guess that makes sense that it would be too heavy for me to carry. But who cares about science? It's a video game. Nobody cares about the density of gold inside of a video game. They just care about how much they can get out of things from stabbing them. I've played Skyrim. I know how the looting gold thing works. Oh boy. I was obviously not paying attention to what my HP was becoming there. Ah, I'm all maxed out on cap again. Eat the fish. Alright, get a little bit more. Item is too heavy for me to carry still. I'll have to throw some vials on the floor. I hate throwing anything that's potentially valuable. <laughs> it hurts my soul. Alright, now we go back to where the lions are and we'll do the quest. Alright, I do not want that many lion on me. Got a small sapphire. Got a ooh, small topaz now. Oh, got another one. I'm, I'm again doing that thing where I'm paying way more attention to the loot I'm trying to pick up off the ground than I am anything involving the fight that's happening. To the point where I didn't even finish killing that one. Because <laughs> I was too busy making sure I was picking the loot up correctly. Whoops! Alright, so yeah, now you're here, and you have to use the uh, gemstones in the correct order. So it's Ruby over here, Topaz over here, Sapphire over here, and then Amethyst over here. And the, uh, the Emerald gets no love. And then that appears, and you can use that, and an item pops out of it. So I got, uh, I got an Emerald Bangle. Which is not ideal. You can do this once every 20 hours. Uh, and the item that triggers the like countdown is the actual picking up the item. So if you don't pick the item up for some reason, because you like forgot about it, uh, you're kind of fresh out of luck. Um, also, if somebody else comes by and picks it up, you can do the quest again, but you have to use the, uh, the gemstones. Anyway, uh, the Emerald Bangle, I think, was one of the least expensive items that I can get out of that, which is sort of disappointing. Um, it's worth less than the, uh, the gemstones I sacrificed. I think the gemstones I sacrificed were worth, like, 950 or 900. So, net loss there, in that case, which is unfortunate. But, um... Alright. Ugh. Ah! Sorry, yeah. Uh, net lost there. The other items you can get are red and yellow gems. Um, you know, I'm gonna... I'll double check real quick and actually figure out what it is. One sec, people. Just so you're aware, I just hit Otura too. Okay. 
Okay, so the items that you can get are the Emerald Bangle, which is a net loss of some amount of money. Um, the red and yellow gems, which are each 1k, so they're a net gain, but a very limited one. A giant shimmering pearl, uh, which is a 3k item, so decent profit there. Uh, a gold ingot, which is a 5k item to NPCs and can probably be sold for more to players. Um, and then the final item you can get is called the lion's heart, which is the item that allows you to mount the uh, noble lions. Um, that can sell for a decent amount on the market to other players, but it doesn't have an NPC price at all. Uh, and that will definitely sell for more than any of the other things by like a decent margin. I think I sold mine for maybe 20k, and I think I probably sold mine for less than I really needed to. Um, one thing to note is you can do the quest however many times you want. And you can get the lion heart multiple times, but you can only get the lion heart if you do not have a noble lion mount. If you have the mount, the lion heart will not drop any longer. The also on that note too, the reason why the lion mount is sort of popular is because it looks okay, whereas some of the mounts I think look kind of stupid. Uh, but the Lion Man is like the easiest and the cheapest one to get. As long as you can fight Ancient Scarabs without dying, and obviously the Lions also without dying, you can get the uh, Lion Heart with just given enough time, and it basically doesn't cost you anything. Unlike, um, like the Water Buffalo is pretty easy to get too. Uh, the Leech is relatively cheap. Um, so it's not like super difficult on that sense. I'll examine a pox while I'm looting here. So yeah, the leech is pretty cheap. Uh, I think I spent like 8k on him or something like that. Um, which is solid. The annoying part about the water buffaloes though is they only spawn in the Venor swamps. And they only spawn every 4 hours. Uh, starting at server save. So if you're at world server save, Amaris is at 4am. They're at 4, they're at 8, they're at noon, they're at 4, they're at 8, and they're at midnight. Uh, yeah, so I mean, if you don't successfully tame any of them, or somebody kills all of the water buffalo, you're just waiting eight minutes again. Or, yeah, eight minutes. You're waiting four hours again. Uh, further, they don't always spawn in the same location, so it's like a hassle to find them. Uh, and then finally, the big benefit to the lion is, is that the lion's heart cannot, it can fail. So you have to keep, like, trying, and sometimes the lion can run away, but then all you have to do is just go to another lion. Um, and if you've never tried to mount anything, this isn't like Pokemon, where um, you need to get them into low HP or something like that. You can tame them right when they're at maximum HP. So the fact that the lion can run away isn't that big of a deal. Um, but the, the lion's heart itself cannot break, which is something that can and does happen uh, on other items. My leashes, for instance, broke multiple times. Let's go here. Alright, this is not good. Okay, let's go down the stairs. <laughs> Ooh, that was a little sketchy. I feel like there's a decent chance I'm about to die. Alright, yeah, I survived. <laughs> Once I got four of them off of me, there was no real chance that I would die. But that was kind of scary. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we're basically on our way out at this point. I would have showcased uh, the other side, but I don't have the uh, potions for it, most assuredly. I forgot to check um, how many ancient scarabs I had already had killed before I came in here. But it should have been less than 10, I think. I don't know, maybe it was it would have been less than twenty. I think I can safely say it was less than twenty. Uh, 
So when I go out, I can check and see how many Ancient Scarabs I have at that point. Come, Mr. Ancient Scarab. It's annoying that they summon crap, because it breaks my shielding. Oh, I did not mean to push that button. What a waste of my mana right there. Get a couple of them in this room, usually. Not sure where the other one is. There's the other one. Oh, I'm running low on uh, health potions, too. Ugh, and I'm also kind of sitting on, like, full mana there. Oh boy! Ah oh man, my inventory is filled! <laughs> Alright, I'm just leaving because I don't want to kill anything else while my inventory is filled. It hurts my soul. I hate leaving behind uh, items. So I, uh, I think the, th the change they made a while back to remove loot bags was, was questionable. I don't see the, uh, I don't see any real benefit in that. I mean, like, sure, a lot of people didn't enjoy loot bagging, and I get that. Uh, I mean, and a lot of people didn't enjoy loot bagging, but still did it because it was profitable, and I also get that, but... I don't see any reason why they would have removed loot bagging. Like, the game was not made better by taking that aspect out. A lot of, uh, Sipsoft's, uh, decisions don't make a lot of sense to me. And that's, uh, that was definitely one of them. <laughs> My poor gold that I'm leaving on the floor! So I think I came in here with around like 300 and some, uh, mana potions. A little bit more than that, and I came in with around 60, 50 or so health potions. And I'm down to 12, I guess I might as well use this right now. I'm down to 12 and 37. So that's basically around 20k worth of potions that I used. I'm pretty confident I didn't break even. Yeah, I'm pretty confident I didn't break even. Let's say I used, because I did throw, I think, like, 50 um, mana pots on the floor on my way out. Or, not on my way out, but when I ran out of money earlier. So let's just round and say that I used 300 uh, mana potions, so that's 15k. I forget how much strong healths are, so I gotta double check that when I get into town real quick. Well, I will pick up, well, I would pick that up if I had the inventory space for it. Um, strong health potions are 100? Yeah, 100. And I used 39 of them. So we'll say, we'll say I used 20k, since I it's 4k here, we'll just say 20k. I think it might be a little bit less, but we'll just say 20k. So, I'm selling my unused potions. I still have my uh, inventory filled. Alright. And then we gotta go sell my gems. Gem person is, I think, this one. Are you the gem person? You're the gem person. Alright, so after selling all the gems I picked up, I have 12,690 uh, 12, gold. Um... Those are worth a hundred a pop. I forget how much the anks are. I'll chuck real quick. Hold on. Okay, anks are a hundred gold, but two one of the jins. Um, 
And then I'm pretty sure all these, you know, let me double check this also, hold on. Okay, so the Anks are 100 to the Green Jins, which I'm planning on doing eventually, so I guess I can count that as money to me, otherwise I couldn't. Um, so that's 200 gold there, that's 800, so that's 1k. Um, hold on. The shield's 2k, those are 280, so we'll just say 500. So, hold on here. And those are 300. Or uh, 100 a pop, so... 500, 700, 800, 900, uh, 1100, 1300. I rounded those to 500, so... Eh, you know, we'll round them up to 600. So, what the, was I at? 13, so now I'm at 19. So, 3900. We'll say that's potentially 1k. So, 4,900. Uh, those are 800 a pop. So, what am I? I was at 4,900. So, 5,700. 6,500. So, I have 6,500 6, additional like items and loot. And I'm going to deposit 12,000. So... I lost around 1k, depending on... I forgot to price the, um, the lion's mains. Hold on a second, let me do... Alright, lion's mains are 60, so that's about, like, 1k right there. So I basically just about broke even there. No real profit. Um, there was a couple of items that some of those things could have potentially have dropped, and they didn't. Uh, the, the lions drop crown helmets, as I said. Actually, I never said that, but the lines do drop uh, crown helmets. The scarabs could have dropped, like, Darmanian war axes and stuff like that. Generally speaking, though, I think that was about, like, reasonable as to what I could expect. Yeah, that guy healed me. What a nice guy. So, alright. Thanks for tuning in here. Uh, that was a Lions Rock Hunt. Like, subscribe, favorite, comment. You know the drill. Thanks for tuning in.